<laughs> okay. I found this unicorn. I'm basing my entire design off that. <laughs> Our level cap for the gym is 33. So everyone's pretty much there. So really no reason to grind at all before the gym. But we are going to try and hit up a few areas and get at least one encounter before the gym, I'm hoping. Like one good encounter. Uh, but we'll see. So I believe we walk out here and have a rival fight, like immediately, when we cross the bridge. Your Cyndaquil is still a Cyndaquil? You ever thought about evolving it? Light threat is still correct. <laughs> right, we're gonna go right ahead to the next route. Let's just go. Please, something good. Ugh. We haven't had this yet, have we? <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> we get it, just let me run. Okay, nothing for this route. There's an item around here, I think. I'm looking for the item. Oh, there it is. Oh, 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 it's a bag of flesh. Run. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Right, this will be a new route down here. This should be it. Yep. Hello? Anything good, please? That's Dips. It does look kind of cool, but I don't know. I just wasn't down for Growlithe when we encountered it earlier. So that would be Dips. Something good, something good. Stop it! I'm kind of not mad at it, you know? I'm okay with that. I like the color. <laughs> and we a grass type would be all right. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> maybe I maybe I will have a hop it. Maybe I will. It's a gold one too. Nice. Female hop it. Anyone got any good nickname ideas? Are there any gray plants? I gotta Google that. What are those fuzzy plants called? Plant with soft, fluffy leaves. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about, but it literally feels, each leaf feels like a little blanket. They're great. Okay, they're, they're generally called, the nickname for them seems to be lamb's ears, but they have a like scientific name as well. Wonder if I can get a name from this. S Statues by Zantia. I can see Tia. I'm not sure if Tia fits her. I guess it could. I don't see why not. Tia. What have we got then? Mild. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Hop it's so simple, so I'm trying to figure out how I can make it, like, interesting. Mild is such a bland personality type as well. It's like, it's not giving me much to go on, you know? Well, you know one feature that I will always do with my characters that no one can really stop me from. And and that is, I like floppy ears. <laughs> They're just so cute, I can't help it. I have a thing for, for floppy ears. It's just the cutest thing ever. You can't stop me. <laughs> the Pokemon with little dot eyes are definitely not my strong suit. <laughs> Because I always put a lot of detail into eyes, so it throws me off when the eyes are very simple. You know, I have a really dumb idea, but it might just work. And that's like, what if the leaves are like... Oh, this is a dumb idea. What if they're like sort of wrapped around and then they make a bow? I can make this work. Because <laughs> it looks it looks very cute. It's very baby. And then when she, if, if she ever evolves, she wouldn't really have the bow anymore. But she could have something else. Because she'd be getting older. You know, I feel like when the art looks over, since I did Maisie as a human, like who would be down to see a YouTube series where I like draw all the art lock characters as humans? Because that'd be kind of fun. Because I already have plans for a little series where we, we turn um, Pokemon into humans, but that's just the, the Pokemon themselves, like, generally. I'm still going to go ahead with that, but I feel like a fun spin-off of that would be doing art lock characters. Because that could be a fun in-between, because I'm definitely not going to jump straight into another art lock. 
because I need some time to like breathe and work on some other stuff. Because I definitely don't want to just do art locks on my channel, like I have other things I want to make. But yeah, I totally just came up with a whole new like mini series idea. <laughs> kind of excited actually. That could be pretty fun. I want to do the main series first though, like the, the Pokemon as humans thing, like I want to get that one started. And then we do the art lock one as like a sub-series of that. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Maybe it needs something on the forehead, like how I did uh, Rose had like a little curl. But that looks kind of like a Jigglypuff. Or maybe like a little leaf. Is it is it too much if I give her a little leaf? I like a little leaf. <laughs> Just a little leaf growing out of her forehead. Nothing to see here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with that. This is definitely not lining up with my sketch. Don't you love it when you do a sketch and then you start drawing over the sketch and say, well, forget it, I don't want the- I don't follow this sketch, which idiot drew this? <laughs> this doesn't look right. But here, let me check the Discord real quick. Give my hands a break for a second. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Some interesting, uh, interesting hoppips we got here. I love the blue tongue. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> we have Maisie in human form. I had a lot of fun drawing Maisie when I when I did a fun. We had, I ended up using it in the thumbnail because I liked it so much. Boink. Oh, I'm loving these like soft baby colors. These are super cute. All right, now we just gotta do the little leaf on the forehead. Do we want to give that a color? The name we picked was based off a leaf where it's green, but it has like these little white hairs on it that make it feel really soft. So it looks really white. So I'm kind of feeling white for the leaf. <laughs> Some really important anime plot character. She's sure looking like something. She does kind of look like, what's that? I feel like it's an archetype in anime where you have this like all-powerful character that's like it's like the strongest character or something or the one with this like ultimate power but it's like a little girl it's like okay sure <laughs> and like half the time they're too immature to even care that they're that powerful they're just like I'm a child I'm just doing child things She's kind of looking like that. It'd be kind of funny if she comes through and is like the MB MVP in like a big battle or something. Obviously, uh, not even a plan to put her on the team at the moment, but eventually, maybe. Okay, first drawing done. Wow, she's like super pale. I didn't realize how pale I made her. She looks so different on the computer. She looks like she's kind of glowing. I like her. <laughs> it's because I've made her shading so much lighter. Because I've gone really heavy on a lot of this shading and I, I don't really like it that much. I guess we just go straight to Safari. Like, I know we're kind of jumping straight back into a drawing. That's kind of just how I want to do it. <laughs> Leaf stone. I wish we had Zayden. Anyway, Safari Zone. Here we go. <laughs> so... The way this is gonna work is I'm gonna go in, all I'm allowed to do is throw balls. As soon as we catch something, that's our encounter. So it doesn't matter if we fail encounters, but I'm not allowed to run because otherwise I'll be able to avoid the ones I don't like. So I just have to keep throwing balls until I catch something. If I run out of balls, I can go back in and try again, but that's how I'm gonna keep it random and make sure I actually do get an encounter here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get. So, that is actually dupes, so we are actually allowed to run from that. I didn't consider that. We can run from dupes, um, but if it's new, we have to try and catch it. That is also dupes. <laughs> We've had a lick of tongue before too. Do, 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 do. Bee drill. I don't believe we've had uh, anything from the bee drill line. I don't hate bee drill, and this color scheme is cool, but it would be nice to get something better. But like I said, all I'm allowed to do is throw balls. If he runs, then he runs, and I get to keep trying to find something else. But if if I catch him, then I catch him. I'm okay with a bee drill, 
But it's it's not the first thing I would choose. <laughs> He's okay. He ran. Doesn't count. I can keep going. I'm gonna go explore a different area. Although I'm not against B drill. I wouldn't be that mad if it was B drill. But I'd like something better. Oh, oh! Please don't catch. Please just jump out the ball and run. Okay, good. Run, run, run. Thank you. <laughs> Something good, please. Okay. I'm down for Dragonite. I don't think this will catch, though. <laughs> but I'd definitely be okay with it if that's what we got. <laughs> Excuse me? Um. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh... Right. Yeah. <laughs> we good then. Right. Nicknames. Like, okay. I know it has a very Spyro looking color scheme, but I don't want to call it Spyro. <laughs> Just so we're clear on that one. <laughs> oh, it's so chonky. It's such a chonky, chonky, chonky dragon. Oh, what's a good name for a Dragonite? I can't believe we just caught a Dragonite. Like the two things that I didn't want up and just ran from me and I was like okay that's fine Dragonite pops up and I'm like there's no way this this stays and then we catch it in the first ball okay you telling me Dragonite has a has an easier to get catch right than a bee drill how can it's I Spyro no I just said I'm not calling it's it Spy Spyro I just said I know it's got I know it's got the Spyro color scheme but I'm not calling it Spyro well, it doesn't I seem just came in just to say fine. It's, it's, it's... It's not Spyro! It's perfectly Spyro. Look up a picture of Spyro. Just name him Eggplant. He's got the shape for it. Oh, no. Egg Spyro. Egg Spyro. <laughs> right, we're gonna sit here till the end of time thinking of a name that isn't Spyro. I'm putting my foot down. Right. This is my foot. It's down. We're not calling it Spyro. <laughs> Can I just call him Chonka? The ultimate chonker, and I draw him, and he's just completely round, and he's got little wings. Oh, he's like, you know those plushies that are just a ball, and they have the little, like, wings or horns or ears or whatever on them? But the rest of them is just a ball? He's just one of those. It's Spyro. It's not Spyro! You tell me that Spyro going through two divorces and getting obese doesn't look like that, and you're a liar. <laughs> Why two? Is one divorce not enough for Spyro? No, because he never gives up. Hi. Uh, I'm what's... here to plead the case. Right, go on. Spyro. It's not Spyro. Right, I'm doing the good old generic types of purple, and I'm going to base it on the color that he is, because, I mean, it's all about the colors, because it's random colors. Base it on how fat the color sounds. How fat the color sounds, got you. Types of purple. Like right. plum. Plum is a perfect name for him. Plum? Mm, plumpy. You know what? I kind of like plumpy because it also looks like it says plum pie. And that just sounds good, you know? A plum pie. I'm just going to go with it. We're going to... I'm I'm going to... I'm going to bed. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll go with plumpy. He's hasty. How can we make him look interesting? We'll figure it out. Let's just start sketching. What's a fun pose for Dragonite? I do kind of want to make him just super round. What is the name of those plushies that are just balls? I'm just gonna type ball plush and regret what comes up. <laughs> okay. I found this unicorn. I'm basing my entire design off that. I kind of love him already, though. He's such a big chunk. I, you know, I like that he just, he's yeah. I'm just rolling with it, and and he's probably rolling too because I don't think Dragonite's this fat can do anything but roll. I don't think I've ever drawn like okay. I thought I was going a stream on some of the others with the chunkiness, but this is a whole new level of chunk. I kind of want to make a plush of this now. I could probably do that. 
I could probably find a good pattern to adapt and make a little chunky Dragonite plush. I could definitely make a figure of it. I'm good at making little, like, clay models. Especially, like, chubby ones, because they hold the shape really well. But is it baby? I'd say this is baby. Absolutely. <laughs> How can it not be? Should I give it a bib? <laughs> to eat- to eat the plum pie with? Right, who's ready for the wings? Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> He's a work of art, honestly. He's not even close to finished, but I just- I love this shape. <laughs> How on earth are we gonna fit him on the layout? Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to start shrinking everyone to get everyone to fit. <laughs> right, well he has a little horn. It's kind of on the back or like middle of his head, like right there I guess. I think... I'm gonna put it to the front, because I think that looks better. And also I'm basing it off this unicorn plush, which also has the horn on the front, because it's a unicorn. And I think it just looks nicer having the horn a little forward. Having it right on the top looks kind of goofy and stupid. Hey, there he is. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's lovely. All we're missing now is claws. Does he have to have claws? I'm taking creative liberty. He doesn't need claws. That's not cuddly. <laughs> claws aren't cuddly. He doesn't need claws. Yeah. Where am I putting his little head noodles? He needs a knife to cut the pie. No, he doesn't. He's baby. He can't cut pie. I'm not even sure if he could reach the pie. He's so round. What's in the Discord? I need to know. <laughs> what on earth is that? <laughs> We're having fun in the Discord today. <laughs> See, this is the kind of stuff I wanted in the Discord. <laughs> Just shenanigans. I don't think we can get any more chonky than this. We've reached peak chonkiness. He is the pinnacle of chonk. Alright, I think it's just shading and shadow now. I can't see anything else I've got to do. Oh no, have you made him chonkier? Am I looking in the Discord to see an even chonkier version? Oh no. Look at the chonky! Oh my goodness. He's so big. <laughs> I think he's done. <laughs> Look at the chonka! <laughs> he's so big. So he's on the team right now because I took Vanessa off. So I'm sorry, Vanessa. But it is time to go over here in the box. Tough to fit everyone on the layout now. Anyway, time to continue. <laughs> Let's try him against wild Pokemon before we go anywhere crazy. We're only a level different. Okay, <laughs> I'm feeling confident about this. I'm feeling like this is gonna go well. Uh, not the most confident about fighting. <gasps> God of War! Oh, it looks perfect. <laughs> I knew it was going to look like that because we've seen Curlier and it, it keeps the same color scheme. That looks so nice. I love God of War. This could be a mistake. <laughs> oh, 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 my eyes. Oh, oh, that actually, oh, that's hard to look at. We are back. Let's real quick. Real quick, see if there's any more items we want to get. Um, as I've done previously, there's no leaving the gym. Like, once we go in, we're not allowed to leave, so... We are allowed to get healing items, we are allowed to heal as much as we want. But there's no leaving the gym, so... Fight me. Oh, they have a lot, and they have a drought cheat. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Oh, okay, that was a crit, but wow. <laughs> Okay. Um. I mean, Jirachi's just more of a threat. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Pebble needs to get out of here. <laughs> Tree's probably safe. I mean, strength might take it out. Okay, yeah, we're fine. 
Okay, nice easy Rosalia to finish. Not a problem. Okay, let's go. I like her outfit. Okay, I can do a right arm. I don't know if this will one shot, but I can hope. How bulky are you? Oh, okay. This might take a few attempts. Might heal though. Yeah, she healed. Oh, she switched too. Alright. We'll get Tree to handle this one. Okay, glad we switched. <laughs> Wing attack. Beautiful. Oh, they've got a she's got a Clefable too. I have one. Mine's Posey. I'm a little nervous, but I am a rock type, so I'll resist the stab. I'm just worried that it has metronome. <laughs> we got rid of metronome because we're not risking that. <laughs> Ice punch. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, oh no. And I'm frozen. Okay, we have to switch. I'm gonna go freckles. Because ice won't do much to freckles. Oh, this is the ace as well. What is it with them sending out their aces so early? Uh, let's just go ice beam. Right, back to the ride on. Surf. Easy, easy. Is this. Ooh! Ooh, I like that color. Uh, oh, I'm a little scared of fighting it though. Can we take him out with Surf? I mean, it didn't do a very hard hit to us, so I think we're fine. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> oh wait, there's another one? I didn't see she had five, but okay, whatever. We should be able to take this out with Ice Beam. We'll be fine. Okay, safeguarding. Yeah, get destroyed. Oh. Eh, we'll switch to be safe. <laughs> Let's just switch to Plumpy. I just want Plumpy to get out there, you know, soak up some of that experience. <laughs> oh, she has a hyper potion, of course she does. That's fine, we can fly. I thought she already used her hyper potions. Frustration? Not the move you want to be using, but okay. Oh my goodness, just just die. Can it, is the gym over now? It's over, thank you. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good, we did it. Hey, we live another day. And we've had a good episode. We've we've had um we drew a hoppip and a very fat dragonite. So perfect episode basically. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. And also thank you for almost 300 subs, we're super close. If you're not subscribed, then maybe drop a sub so we can get to 300, that would be nice. Thank you. <laughs> the next episode will be streamed live on Twitch as always. I usually stream the day after I post an episode, but we're in the middle of organizing the room right now, so I'm probably going to put off the stream for a week or so. There might be some other streams in the meantime, I'm gonna get back to doing some shiny hunting, maybe some artsy stuff. And I have some other videos planned for YouTube, so I'll try and make sure something goes up in between instead of having like a massive gap between, you know, this episode and the next one. Also we have a whole bunch of fan art today. I already showed off most of it in the video since a lot of it was drawn on stream, so I was able to show it off while I was streaming and, you know, it just naturally fit into the video. But I'm going to show it off again anyway because why not? <laughs> this is exactly the kind of thing I wanted with like having people participate in during the streams and like posting their own pictures of the characters and stuff like that. So we had a really good stream, it was a really good episode. Also, our team is getting pretty OP right now because we've got like Dragonite and Tyranitar and all this like really super strong stuff. This is always a problem with randomizers where the further you go in, the more likely you are to have like this big overpowered team, but then because everyone else still has random Pokemon, then you could still be facing some really weak stuff. Like sure, sometimes they have legendaries, but sometimes they have Magikarp, so... Yeah. <laughs> so with that in mind, considering how good the team is right now, um, let me know in the comments if you think we should add any extra rules. We've already added, um, like obviously we had level caps in the beginning, we started saying that we couldn't leave gyms once we'd gone in, then we changed to set mode so we didn't get free switches between Pokemon. The next logical step would be no healing in battle, but that's scary. 
<laughs> so let me know what you think about that or any other ideas to just make it a little more challenging because I don't, I don't want the run to be boring. Even when we've been hit by super effective moves, they haven't even done like half damage a lot of the time. So I feel like maybe it's time to step up the challenge again as we approach the end of the game. But yeah, let me know what you think about that. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. <laughs>